have a question uh, of limits. Mm -hmm. This one. One plus sign x to the one over sign x. That's a pretty peculiar limit, but let me see. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that's pretty easy, actually. Was one plus, oh, it's blue. One plus sine x to the one over sine x. The limit is x approaches zero. Now, if you're pretty astute, you would know this is just equal to the limit as x approaches zero of e sine x, which should just be equal to one, because this is going to be e to the zero, which is one. Is there anything that I'm missing? No. So this should be correct. Uh, really? OK. So harder question that I don't think is possible for me to solve. We get limit is x approaches 0 of ax plus sine squared x over tan x to the x over sine x tan x. This is a very bizarre integral, but let me see if I can simplify anything. This is going to be sine x cos x. And then x over sine x tan x is going to be x over sine squared x cos x. Wait. Oh, this is going to be x cos x over sine squared x. And this is no longer in the form of e, which probably makes it unsolvable. Just to be sure, though, um, do you have? Uh, all right. All right, then. So I don't think this is solvable because you can't put it in the form of e. Thank you. And my guess would be that those terms have to be equal, but I'm not going to get on that train just yet. Uh, okay, this is a very tricky problem, but let's see. K-A-I to the K. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to try and approach it like this. So we have K-A-I to the K divided by K-A-I to the K minus a i to the k plus 1, which gives us square root of 1 plus a i to the k plus 1 over all of this. So this should be equal to... Okay. What I'm going to do is just set these equal to each other because otherwise it's far too complicated to get through. So this has to be equal to... So now what I'm going to do here is square both sides. Alright, and now I guess we can multiply both sides by this. So we get Okay, and now how, what criteria do we have to satisfy in order to get something like that? K minus 1, AI to the K plus 2, minus KAI to the K plus AI to the 2. Okay, let's see. So now what I'm going to try and do is, no, we can't factorize it that way. Mm. Okay. Okay. To the K plus. Okay, so here's what I'm going to try doing. This is going to be equal to. No, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else we can do about this? What can we do that we haven't tried yet? could, of course, divide both sides by ai squared. 
even though that seems kind of pointless. Okay. Yeah, no, that just brings us kind of back to where we were on the playing field. So, instead, what can we do to get through this? Well, we want the sequence that actually satisfies this. Hmm. So, let's see. K is just some integer, so how can we find anything that actually does satisfy this? This is... Okay. So, I'm gonna divide both sides by a squared. So... Okay, so now, this has to be true for all AI. So, we just have to find some correspondence of AI that works here. So, for example, let's try it for a few values of K. But K can't be less than 2 here. Can't, uh, okay, K can't be equal to... Okay, so let's try K is equal to 2. Then we get 2 is equal to 1 AI squared plus 1. So AI squared is equal to 1, and AI has to be equal to 1. Okay, so then what about K equals 2? No, K equals 3. Then we get 3 AI has to be equal to 2 AI cubed plus 1. So then we get, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so we might want to factor out AI to the K minus 2. Oh, okay. So let's factor out AI to the K minus 2 to get k minus 1 ai squared minus k. Which, if we're just solving for a variable over here, I'm going to make this x just so I'm more familiarized with it. k minus 1 x squared minus k. And this has to be equal to what? Negative 1. So then, this is just a kind of difference of squares. We've got a uh, K. Mm. The square root of K minus 1x minus the square root of K. Okay. Uh, okay, no, that's not really going to do much. Then we're just in an even stickier situation than where we left off. So, how would I solve this for AI? What does satisfy this? Let's see. Let's see. Can we solve it for this specific case? 2ai cubed minus 3ai is equal to negative 1. So 3ai minus 2ai cubed is equal to 1. Which means that, okay, ai times 3 minus 2ai squared has to be equal to 1. Uh, that doesn't help much. I'm pretty sure AI is supposed to be 1 here as well. Wait, don't tell me. Plus. Okay. Uh. Yeah, okay. I think I got it. AI has to be equal to 1, always. <laughs> 